Well, this is the next next project here. Uh, it's an airlift 1000 HD. I got to put it on my Ram. Um, a little better for towing. It's the only bad thing about these Rams. These fourth generations, they have springs in the back, the coil springs, and they really squat. So I think I'm going to pop off the wheels and get those airbags in hooked up and uh, hopefully that'll help with the towing of the camper so we'll do that now that's basically all that comes in the kit you get two airbags the airline obviously these are spacers for the tops when you get them in the hardware and an installation guide but it shouldn't be too bad um, there's a two way to do this you could have both airbags coming into one and having one uh, way to pressurize both bags or you can do dual where they each have their own um, way to inflate them that's the way I'm probably gonna do it that way I can adjust the each side if I need to okay so I got it jacked up I uh, got some jack stands in there for added support, but basically the back axle is just hanging so I can get uh, those um, airbags slip between these uh, coil springs and up in there. And hopefully it won't be too tough. Um, I got to squeeze them down and make them look like a hot dog to fit in there, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, this is basically what I got. I just squish it down. Use some, took the cap off to get the air out. Squished it down. Use some tie wraps to hold it in place. Put the cap back on. We'll get this in and uh, see if I can get the other side done. Go get a cutters, cut this, and let this expand out. Careful not to uh, actually cut your bags. All right, and let's get that valve off and see if that inflates. in. Wow, that fills it up pretty good. Okay. I'll have to run the, the hose up through here. But for now, I'm just going to put this cap back on it. Alright, let me prep the other side and see what I can do over there. And here's the other one. Couldn't get the cap back on this one. I got it in there pretty good, so let's see if we get that in. Something that's compressed is the other side.
air in that just to uh, get it to full size. Also you got these pucks that go on top to help protect that stem. I didn't show it on the other side, but they'll basically go right on top there and protect that protect that uh, yellow stem. But I got to put another uh, extender barb on there and, and run my air lines. I also didn't show, drop my uh, spare tire so it's easier to route my um, air hoses. So I guess we'll try doing that. I don't know how well I'll be able to get the camera up in there, but let's see what I can do over here. We'll start here and start running the hose. Okay, let's see if I can see this. This is the done version. You got this, that's gonna screw on top of your your valve. Comes up, this is barbed, and you just slide your uh, tube over it and get the clamp on it. So now this part's gonna get fed over the top of the frame down into the hole. You can't really see in here, but right up here above the, the coil tower, I guess you call it. There's a hole here, and I'm going to put it down in, connect this in. Now we're going to want our puck in there. I believe you only do this finger tight. All right, let's do the other side. Here's our done tip. And I've already got my puck here. Take the uh, cap off. Make sure this is blocking. side. And of course I'll be tie strapping everything in too. Uh, might be able to go through that way. Alright, let me see if I can get you guys under the truck with me and if not, I'll just have to try to show you the end product. All right, this is the uh, passenger side. You can see the, the bag goes up. And then right here I got the tube coming up and over. I'm gonna, I still haven't tie strapped anything. I just ran it along above my um, spare tire holder. I'm gonna go up and above around the trailer hitch. And I'm thinking, let's see if I can get out here. I think I'm going to connect my uh, 
valves here I already have holes in the hitch so I think putting them in these give me easy access to inflate or deflate them I already got the holes there so let me get everything tie strapped up and I'll get the uh, the other barbs in on this end and we'll take care of that Need another washer on that. Trying to get in around here without hitting you guys. Can't see much on that side. Let me move over here.
mosquitoes are starting to come out. Time to actually uh, get the wheels back on and uh, put some pressure in it and see how it does. Okay. Well, you notice it's still a little wet, but uh, I did a leak test on it, some soapy water, and sprayed it up in there. No bubbles. I checked both sides and I also checked over on the uh, the connectors for the uh, the fittings here. So now I think I am gonna get the tires on it, put the spare back on, and uh, take it for a quick road test. Okay, just got back from uh, doing a quick road test. Um, my first opinion on this: very happy, well worth the money. They don't change the stock. You can't even tell they're in there. see from the back I'm not sure I see a little bit but I think that's about the only giveaway that they're installed is the uh, fittings here for the air um, I'm probably gonna have to do a second part and hook up the uh, camper and probably get some measurements to see how it looks with uh, no pressure half pressure full pressure and uh, see how much it squats, even with the um, torsion bars. So I uh, look forward to that one. Thanks for watching.